as um, whether or not I want to do that again. Also, I don't know if that group was still here that visited me. I guess they left a while ago. I don't know, they're there. I was gonna say, maybe they'd like... I was gonna see if they wanted some shit as gifts. Like, maybe some... Look, I don't even need somebody that can talk. Can you just talk with him? Yeah, hold up, take her. I want to offer you guys... You're gonna love this. I think... Not the ducks and the shit. Which, by the way, I need to launch the other sheep. That's something I've got to do. I was going to offer you good hospital beds. Um, I don't want to give you all of my good hospital beds. But I was going to give you, like, maybe, like, half a dozen like that that's like a 12 give it that uh that's probably that's probably who they are are you guys that Finn? yeah finman hold on uh you know what you guys could probably do us some extra hospital beds hold up let me get some ricey uh where are you they could do us some more hospital beds let's be honest that only gave them 12 so I've got hospital beds to spare. I really wanted to make sure I gave it to them, but fuck it. If they happen to come by, I'll offer them some tables or some beds or something. I've got a lot of those, if you hadn't noticed. Um, yeah, hit me up with this. The gifts. Icky dicky. I don't know if it, yeah, I double click that. I hate that sometimes I do that. All right, take me down to the beds. Beds, where are they? Not the turrets. Yeah. All right, hitches up with, I know, they were at like 77 odd. I know that these like plus so much gifts. I only need to give them probably about 20 odd. Let's go with, go with exactly 20. I'll feed that. It takes them up to like 97. They're pretty much good now. Now, if I could just fling some, it would be so great if I could fling some of the stuff at like my allies. That'd be great. But... What I could do, if I have allies happen to come by again and it happens to be that specific group, I'll get everybody to just literally just go and like lift everything. Like all the tables and chairs. Like I have so many chairs. Like I can only imagine how much they would really love to get chairs and tables. Oh man, I have so many tables to offer. Like, like I have so much gifts to like give allies. Honestly. What's that? So before royalty DLC. I've really cared for food policy. However, when the DLC came out, I found out that your person climbs to noble ranks, gets more fussy with requirements, such as they only eat fine meals are better. Like real quick to give nothing but simple meals for common and fine for noble. I've heard of that. So in the even in the um what do you call it? The RimWorld store. If you go to the RimWorld store and you watch their uh, video clip or whatever for the game, right, one of the main stories it tells is about how, like, three people crash land, one of them's nobility, and the nobility wants to eat better food. So I'm sure there's people in here that have got lavish diets, and I'm sure there's people in here that would probably just eat regular food, but I just don't care. I just allow them to have everything's lavish, they can pick up whatever they choose to eat, whatever they want to eat. If they happen to pick up a shitty meal and bitch about it, that's really a them problem, as far as I'm concerned. Um, depending on how much of a them problem they make it, I'll decide from there as to how to treat them. Also, this is already reloaded. God damn. Okay. So, how about we load up Sasha? Yeah, let's go Sasha. And let's say... I don't know. Oh, that's right. I gotta launch the sheep. Right, I gotta launch the other sheep. I don't know if that other sheep got like pregnant in between that, but who knows? Uh, let's launch you with some food. I probably want to send more of the pemmican. I don't want to get them to a point where they don't have any resources or anything. Um, like we can fit. I will see if I can fit any of the recreational stuff in here, and then I'll shove some food in as well. So we've got all that. Um, the only problem is I don't have a butchering station up at the moment. So what I'm going to have to do is actually make a temporary butchering station. Um, I don't have any medical or anything like that set for this. 
So if I could just set you up with the rest of what you could carry, I doubt that's going to be like over a thousand. No, nope. take you up to about 800, no, 700. There you go. All right, this will give them plenty of food to get where they're going because it's actually a lot further than it looks to send them where I'm sending them. So we're doing that now. I need a temporary butcher station production. I need these. The reason why I need these is because I still have animals getting culled, but I do not have um, a station that they can get it culled at. I love it when you have multiple tables and yet someone cracks the shits because didn't eat a table. Oh, my blood pressure starting to climb. See, I just don't care. It's the same with in the darkness. You know when they have problems with, oh, I'm in the dark and stuff like that, or it's had an apparel or they slept outside or, like, disturbed sleep and stuff. It's like, okay. Like, especially when I have a base that has all of this actually fully built enough for all of my people and then I have close by dining areas and I have tables and we've got lighting everywhere and everything's just peachy and beautiful and then somebody has a shit fit because of one little thing that's tipped them over the edge like at some point I think this is a big colony thing but I think at some point I just stop caring I don't care if they have a problem with it I've got the resources I've got the stuff on offer for them to play with they want to use it, they can use it. If they don't want to use it, that's their fucking problem. Um, that is steel. What I might do, I might make this. I kind of want to extend that. But if I could get them out of here for sleeping, I could probably put them a bit more space in here. I don't know. The other thing too is if I could move them all just straight up into here, it would be a little bit closer. So if I could say, where can I put it there? Uh, what is in the way? Oh, there's a tree stump. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, whoa, wait, you can chop stumps? Hold up, hold up, hold up. There is a lot of stumps in the area. If I could get everything. Yeah, everybody just chop those because apparently I might be able to get double wood out of these things. I didn't know that. I think Lincoln's going to bed, but it's fine. Um, yeah, if I can move the benches and stuff out of here... What I plan to do is basically make it that over there is kind of like a food storage place, maybe. Um, if I could get them to just move everything, that would be great. Obviously, this will make it a little bit hard to keep track of which ones have what. I can't put that there. That's right. What I can do is I could put it there. That'll fit. That one's allocated, that one's allocated. I've got four more benches coming in. If I copy the settings on this, expand the zone into here, right, and paste that, right, they will move all that stuff over, and then I could get rid of the heated lights here. I could turn this into a cold storage if I need to. It's not going to be perfect, but it's something. How cold is this? Well, it's winter, so... It's 23 degrees indoors and it's 10 degrees outdoors. And I've got a whole heap of these I've got to move at some point. And I also need to build this. That's my only problem with having this entire lineup, allowing them to build that. Also, that reminds me too, is we got to the point of limestone fence is what I can put in here. So obviously at some point I'll need to put actual like gates and shit in between this. If I could at least allocate up, because my people will walk over it, it doesn't really matter if it's there or not. But if I could just allocate out a fence, entire length of this fucking ass map, I think just there. Okay. It's not perfect, it's going to take a long time to get that built up. I do not want them to have one giant ass pen, although it's not the worst fucking idea. I was going to divide it in two, but honestly making one giant ass pen might be not the worst. But yeah, I've got to get over here built and all sorts of stuff. And half the problem is seeing who's awake and who's available. You're relaxing socially. I don't want it perfect. Too fucking bad, Grim. If it was going to be perfect, these bedrooms would be cut in half or extended. Like, I've got these little areas here that I can put in heaters. Like, I could put a heater, I could put air conditioners to the edge so that I can climate control this. I'm going to have solars and stuff in the back, so that will help. 
Hey, Captain, welcome in. Um, I was looking in your stream earlier. I um, wasn't able to like listen though, but it was interesting watching you. Interesting watching you just like running around and playing and stuff. I like the fucking Andy PNG tuber. I know I like said that earlier, but still, uh, Grim, if you remember the coffin of Andy and Lele. The hilarious 18 plus mature stream that I did. Yeah. Uh, somebody playing with uh, Cap'n had the Andy character as like a PNG tuber and it was like a really, really well done reactive. I thought it was very cool. Um, I just immediately had to say something about it. What do we need? Medical treatment? Why? What's wrong with him? I don't see anything wrong. He's like stress. I can't forget that. Could he? Look, I think that's going to stay with a lot of us for a long time. It was good. You're hungry. That's what your problem is. Um, are you... Let's clear your prioritize. Okay. That's all his problem was. He was stuck doing that. Okay. Well, they'll move that in the morning. Now, I did steal some steel urns. I do need the... Uh, metal from it and what I was hoping is if we have some more urns on the map and they're not always easy to see but urns help with like decoration like these are these are standstone let's not let's claim those cancel what we're doing let's uninstall those if I can bring them down and install them what is this that's a normal table um, if I claim it they'll try to repair it but yeah, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for some of the uh, urns. Because if I get the urns, it'll make the place pretty. And my people will be like, oh my god, my place is pretty. It's nice. And yeah, it'll make them happy. There should be some down here, you would think. There's one. at uh, steel. Damn. Um, uh, that's right. There was going to be more chapters, right? I have to look if they made any more. They haven't yet. I'm still keeping an eye on it. I still play. I still intend to play more. The only problem is the two playthroughs that I've got. One playthrough has got um, one negative, and the rest is positive. And the other alternative one is one is negative, and no. One is positive and the rest is negative. So they're a perfect parallel reverse of each other. The only problem is that they're not like a flawless perfect or a flawless like negative. So no matter what happens as I play through them, it won't be like perfect. But yeah, I'm half tempted to like use a guide and go through and like um, save myself a file that has like the exact differences and responses and stuff. But uh, yeah, no, I've been keeping an eye on the chapters and stuff. They have been doing monthly updates to sneak peek what they want to do with it. Um, they pretty much made a commitment since like New Year's or something that they have to kind of do that to keep everybody updated. It's fine. It works. It kind of does the job. Um, I see a lot of fan art that way, you know, a Marvel one. Hold on. Let's use that. I could reinstall, I mean, ideally in there would be better since we're going to move into here. So if I was to put this up in here, actually just in the corner will do. Holy hell. Okay. Uh, which, which one is the one that needs, uh, I need retro kinship. Okay, hold on. I don't see any special names. Damage is here. Uh... Triantha's middle name has arrived. And it's the Slaughterer. Holy shit, you're going to be proud. That's actually not bad. Barcelona, abrasive optimist. Likes animals and shooting. Yeah. Aside from abrasive, I'd say that the rest of it's probably right. <laughs> I don't want to attack my allies, but I'm like, I feel like that's a really good representation. I know it's not in the same line of like naming and stuff, but still, it's a pretty good one. Um, let's see, Sasha, you mean, I'm looking for somebody that can talk and somebody that enjoys talking well. Weeks can do social. All right, Weeks, wakey wakey. Let's get you up here and chatting. Retro kinship requires, um, they require 
stuff. I have to give the shit out of them. And I said this as soon as they arrived. Let's see. Let's pull up all the chairs in this place. Every chair I need lifted. Every table I need lifted. They are getting everything I can think of gifted to them. I'm giving fucking turrets. I don't care. <laughs> they need stuff. Uh, I'm really tempted to take those beds. I'll take the side tables because that's easier. I don't think they'll take it. Um, if I can get them to bring them in. If they do it. Yeah. Alright, they'll help. Okay, so... I have to do trade with wherever the fuck they were up here last. Um, and then you guys down here. Um, sure. All right. Who else? I know Nikki had a problem with talking last time. So maybe we find somebody else. I thought I'd say I like that. Updates. What? Updates not the fan art. I prefer to know what's going on with the game. They go for quite a long time. I think they have given up. Now I look at something else to play. Uh, you think that if they give up you like look something else no it's not fan art so when I said fan art I'm talking about like their art for their actual like uh, what do you call it for the game itself but it's not all just art some of it is just like good fucking art that's unrelated to the game created by the people and stuff but yeah all of it basically like talks about like the next sections and stuff getting updated and whatever it does have it it's just yeah different you i would like you to talk to them pretty soon but i also want what i'm gonna do i know not everybody's gonna enjoy doing this because i think i would probably need to have somebody actually get up and do things. I'll have to wait till the morning. Maybe they'll accept wood. Could you imagine if they accept wood? I have oh, I don't know 345,000 wood they might be very interested in. I will give the shit out of that to anybody that's interested in that. Um, I might get Labia up here once she's like finished taming. See how that goes. You see, I don't like spoilers and shit for games, so I don't really greatly like seeing a lot of like frequent excessive updates about a game I just like knowing like information like for instance seven days to die changing from alpha 22 is going to be the 1.0 release right so from my perspective I can understand okay it's not going to be alpha 22 but we've all spoken about it's alpha 22 this whole time but then you know they have got like visuals of the game that they're updating but I haven't actually seen anything in the game itself they plan to update uh, it's just mostly visual stuff so between alpha 21 and alpha technically 22 anything I could say is like visually it changes there's no like additional gameplay at the same time it makes me a little bit sad that they are taking it out of alpha because that means that they're not going to change the shit they put in place the, you know some of the things that I don't particularly enjoy about the game but again, I don't really get much of a choice at this point. Whatever is happening is whatever's happening with it. I don't want to buy more steel. I think we've got enough for this location. Um, let me buy you books. Because I think they can read those. And you do buy these. Cool. Well, let's get you sold on some of these. That's going to fix up our price difference. I've got other beds. I don't have to take all these up if I don't want to. Right, let's say break it even ish break it even and I won't care I've got some books you don't have any psychic suit pulses I'm not going to try to get steel from you I would like more steel how much have you got with that 200 fuck it sure it's like a hospital bed two hospital beds there we go okay take that I've probably got enough to sell to the next person I'm still watching labia here I want to make sure she doesn't go too far so I can do this trade afterwards. Um, the other thing too, got 90, 90, those two are the ones that just traded. They, I have to get them better as well. Which I think is the other group that we're trading with here. You are almost ready to go so you can head up there. See how it goes. All right. I also love when I see like Raptor and stuff walking here because honestly... That's awesome. Reindeer. There's a lot of people in here with like animal names. 
honestly. The ICAM. Tribal ICAM. It seems counterintuitive to it. All right, you. You've got more dromedaries. I'll take those. I don't want your alpaca. I do have thumbo babies that I could sell you. They are female. Let me get your food. Let me take the meat. Not supposed to be making food, but this will feed my panthers in transit and the megasoths. So that is ideal. Let's see what else you've got. I don't want none of that. Um, oh, oh, hello. So I can have anything I want from this lot. Um, I'm not going to take dye or anything yet. That is exciting. I'll tell you what, though. I will probably keep some of the clothes that I've got. I will sell off some of the shittiest stuff. The 50% are under. Because that is a problem we've got in this space. They won't want to wear that. But how do you feel about... Oh, I don't know. About 10,000 wood? No, no, no. I don't want to buy that shit. I want to sell you that shit. 10,000? That's a little too much, but it's not honestly that much. 5,000 in close, or four's too much. Let's save four, seven. How is that? Not that much. Eight. Very close. Okay, I would say that's close enough to basically take all their money. I know that part of this is I should take all their money from basically any of the traders that are available, but let's send you that. And then immediately. I need you to be really happy with us. And you like to take wood by the look of it. So, how do you feel? Not about the whole lot. You, you don't get that. You don't get 300 fucking thousand. That's about that much. What's that looking like? That's a 200 gift. That's a little bit up there. 40 odds probably the way to go, but add a one onto that. That's a 90. They were at like 20. I could sniff this off here. 80. There we go. That should mint us up to about 100. A happy little traders. There we go. Nice. We don't have to worry about them killing us anytime soon. Or, you know, falling out of favor. I've been waiting to give them stuff. And now I have, like, a substantial... Like, I could have given them all of the wood. I don't have to be stingy about it. Like, these people, if they're on the map, I don't know what they are. I think they're the third group. Either this group? Are you... What is your colours? What's Finn Farnham? Are you lot down here? Wherever he's went. Yeah, you lot. You lot require... I don't even know if I sent somebody to... Buy from you. Did I? Did we just completely forget? To send somebody to purchase stuff? That sounds like something I would do. Vulture. Hey, mate. Vulture, I got a quest for you to do. Can you come over here? Yeah, probably go over and do that sale. Uh, you can sell wood for food. I'm not surprised, Grim. Um, maybe not. I can't find the mod now. There is a mod that allows you to sell anything, but it looks like it's been removed. I was I'm gonna get that mod again. Yeah, see, I, like, in instances where I have taken apart, like, I brought all my resources from my other base and this base, and, like, we got rid of, like, a lot of, like, wood around the place, and I don't have my fire stoves up and none of that, right? So we basically have all this extra shit, and, like, if they weren't going to take that stuff, I was just going to give them whatever was around my base. I've got chairs... I've got all kinds of things. I'm sure they could have, like, I'm bringing in extra just for selling purposes. Which reminds me, since I have got spare chairs and stuff, I know I'm sending Vulture out there, but have I still got, yeah, there's Lavia. There's, are they fighting each other? Huh. Well, this is what happens when your allies come to visit at the same time. Hmm. I wonder what they think of that. Oh, well. Uh, Lavia, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe don't walk between that shit. I know Roll's, like, trying here. Come and stand over here. Stand over here, Roll, you piece of shit. Get out of the way. Whoever lives, I'll do trade with. I'm really curious how this goes. <laughs> so, basically, after 1.5 update, I noticed that they come in regardless of if the other group's still there. 
and I'm guessing what I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to be a responsible fucking trader and and be like, oh, only call in like a couple of people at a time, but I ain't got no fucking time for that. So I just call in everybody and just hope for the best that they don't kill each other. And in this instance, yeah, they're killing each other. You also like to buy wood. So let's hit you up with about, let's try the 10,000 again. I'll fight it out, free loot. Eh, I don't really want them to be killing each other. That's, that's the hard part is like, I don't want it to like risk the friendships I've got with the traders, preferably. Oh, that's a little low. Um, obviously it also like drops extra shit back for me, but I also the shit that I'm selling them, I don't want. I kind of want it removed off my map because otherwise I feel like I'm leaving it behind. Whereas if I sell it to them, I don't feel like I'm wasting it, kind of thing. You know? Also, wherever you are, it was over here, Vulture. Can you do where are you there? Can you also just do a trade straight up? I should have dismissed them. That's what I should have done. Doesn't matter. It's too late for that. Now you. You accept wood. So how do you feel about not that much? I could give them that much. Like I said, I could just do that. But we're stingy. So we'll do 100. And a 1-4. That's about an 80. You'd be good. There we go. Right. Save that. All right, so we'll have, should have really good ties with most of my allies, unless they get shitty about getting killed here, which, I mean, I can't really do much about that. Not like I can really, like, jump in and fucking help the bastards. I just need my idiots to stay the shit out of the way. By the way, since Repair Carefully is working, I can, like, select multiple people at once, which is kind of nice. What are you lot doing? Try to, don't do it. Nah, get out of the way. Uh, I'll tell you what though, actually, could get shot, but if you could go help that one. I think these guys are leaving. I, they're the ones I gave all the special tributes to. Let's see if I can get a couple of people in here without dying. You can, I don't know if I said, yeah, no, don't bother with the cleaning of the blood. Leave that be. There's a couple of people up the top here. If I could say, not Rego. Not John. Falcon, mate. Mm, instead of that, how about I get you to walk over here? The non-lethal weapon mods come in handy. Tase everyone, you get tased. You get... Tase everyone, kiss tase. I mean... Again. You know how I feel about mods, Grim. I understand there's mods for that, but... Doesn't mean I'm gonna use it. Yeah, Rego, you were about to get shot. That's how close you were. Who is... I want to take this person to go lay down. I don't even know if these guys are right. I think they're just fleeing. I think they're both fleeing. Yeah, they're fleeing. And waveringly loyal. What the fuck? Is, did they all say that? No. Why do you say it? I'm wavingly loyal. And you're retreating. You don't say it. And I don't know. If I can get to that one, I'll pick him up, but... Alright. Bowman, mate. Can you go and rescue that guy? Because I don't think they're going to shoot down here anymore. They might. Be a risk. I want to do. If you could just get in here. See how this goes. I just want to help my allies. Can pick them up rescue that. So much for them crawling away by the way. They're supposed to. Well, I don't know what you're fucking doing, but if you walk in there and get shot, that's really you. Oh. Alright. Well, I picked up a couple of people. There's a whole bunch of allies that are dead. I think I've still got cremation things in and around the place. I think. A whole bunch of shitty weapons that I don't really need or want whole bunch of pemmican and stuff. I'm just curious if they're going to pillage what's left behind, you know? And that's where I'm at at this point. Just allow that. Now don't get yourself shot, you idiots. Now, I'm curious if they want to steal any of the stuff that the other traders had or if they do not care. 
Roll. Do you maybe think that that's not the best place to be standing? Like, do you think that right now is the very exact second to be having this particular cleaning frenzy that's going on here? Yeah, you got fucking shot, you idiot. What did you fucking think you was gonna have happen? Jesus. Alright, who else is in the area? Get the fuck out of there. 